Oh, welcome to Mind Body TV. I'm Dr. Kim DeRamo, and I have a really powerful episode to share today about how mind body medicine really works, why I've dedicated my entire career as a physician to this kind of medicine, and why I've created my programs and the way I work with people in embracing health um, to focus on this work first and foremost, and why this has been so powerful for massive, unthinkable healing to happen. So welcome. I created this broadcast so I could bring this truth about the body's ability to heal itself into the mainstream so more people can access this, more people can ignite their body's ability to heal itself through the mind-body connection, and we can all live in prosperity. So I'm really excited to hear from you. Where are you tuning in from? How did you find this work? And any problems or challenges you're dealing with that may or may not be pertinent to what we are discussing today. So basically, um, in mind-body medicine, which I started studying at a very, very young age, um, we have looked at how our thoughts are actually affecting every cell in our body and not just our conscious thoughts like, I'm healthy, it's all okay, but mostly the unconscious thoughts, which are exponentially more numerous than the conscious thoughts that we're having. We've seen in medical science that our cells, every single cell in the body, have receptors for the nervous system hormones, the communication the neurotransmitters, and that these hormones and neurotransmitters aren't just about the brain and the nervous system. They're being created in the gut. They're being created in our organs. They're being created in our tissues, and they affect every single cell in our body. And so what I wanted to show you here, I made a diagram, very big on diagrams lately. So we've got our thoughts. You've got these little neurotransmitters. Thoughts are not just some esoteric vapor of nothing. They're physical, tangible phenomena in the body that not only affect what we're thinking, what we feel, our actions and behaviors, but we have receptors on every cell in the body for these neurotransmitters that go and effect the physiology, the health, and the activity of that cell. Now, these cell receptors can also be affected and stimulated by a drug, by a chemical, by what kinds of foods you're eating, by all kinds of things you're doing. However, the number one most powerful, pertinent, and activating power on those cells is your thoughts. You are constantly sending information to every cell in your body that determine whether that cell does what it's designed to do, has the health and the vitality and creates its own prosperity, keeping your body alive or the opposite. So we can think of these like negative harmful thoughts, positive life-giving thoughts. They're two different qualities, frequencies of the thoughts we're having. And these thoughts will then go and travel to the cell and ignite that cell and land in these receptors and have that cell do a behavior or an action that change the quality of that cell. Well, we've got trillions of cells in the body. And so sometimes we want a really specific thing to happen. Like there's a tumor cells and we want these cells to behave this way and sort of like resolve and dissolve. We want these other healthy adrenal cells to heal. But when we do this in a targeted way, like with chemotherapy or with drugs, we do not have the distinction of how it affects our cells. That's why people can get really, really sick from drugs is it'll affect the cells we want it to affect in a, maybe a good way, but it'll also affect the cells we don't want it to affect and have a really harmful effect. Your body's wisdom on the other hand has a very specific and targeted effect on the cells in your body. The wisdom that created you and creates you knows exactly what chemical compounds to create and exactly the right amounts to have the intended effect, which is we call it just overall health. Good energy, feeling clear, um, feeling inspired, and the ability to go out and be 
who we really want to be in the world. Feeling worthy, for example, is going to create chemical hormones and neurotransmitters that have a very powerful effect on your immune system, for example. So you increase your IgA, which is a uh, component of your immune system that makes you resistant to a virus, for example. Um, a powerful effect on your digestion. So all the healthy gut microbiome, the bacteria in your gut are uh, fortified and are growing and prospering and you have a healthier gut microbiome and a healthier body. It's very, very specific and targeted. So you have like a veritable pharmacy within your body dictated by your own thoughts. Okay, so how do we like think the good thoughts and get rid of all the bad thoughts? Mm, it's not what so many of us have been taught. I'm going to fight the disease. I'm going to battle this cancer. What kinds of qualities is it going to create in your chemistry? The battling and the fighting and the I'm not going to let anything get me down and I'm a survivor actually creates inflammation. It doesn't have that healthy effect on your cells. When I was really sick with an autoimmune disease, that's why I just got worse as I tried to get better. I tried to heal myself. I'm not going to let chronic fatigue beat me. I'm going to overcome this. Didn't actually create what I wanted. It actually made me get worse. So what was it that allowed the health within me to do it for me and to create the exact mix that let my nervous system heal because I had like my labs were all off and my immune system was really, really flared up. Uh, I had anxiety, um, adrenals were overrun. So adrenal fatigue, uh, let my gut heal so I could digest food, let my weight rebalance itself. So I was at my normal healthy weight, um, let the headaches go away. Like what was it that let that happen? The biggest thing was about more about letting go than about actually doing. And so one of the major things we do in embracing health is we get to the root of like, what's creating you ever hear the parable, like you got two wolves on the shoulders and one's like the bad wolf telling you to do the bad things and one's the good wolf telling you to do the good things and which wolf wins it's the one you listen to and so when i started to listen to the truth wait a minute i don't have to heal myself i can let my body do what it's naturally designed to do there was like an ease when i started realizing or my doctor told me this is lifelong and i'm gonna have to battle this and be on medications but what else might be possible, right? I got curious. There was like a harmony and a flow. There was an inspiration. And when I finally like got the diagnosis is really when I let go the most. I realized if my body created this, something within me, what would it take for me to let that go so my body could heal this? And there was this like juicy effervescent, like, whoa, imagine if lightness that I felt. And I realized that day walking along on the beach, I was in medical school. Um, I couldn't let go. I don't have to fight. And then I saw the whole thing. Like I'm, I've been in this constant battle against failure. I don't want to be a failure. I don't want to be a loser. At the time I didn't know where that really came from. Now there's like a lot more awareness about that. Um, but it was a battle and it was unconscious. And so I had to get so deeply present, which had taken years and years to develop with what was going on in my body, right? The level of presence, the level of awareness to what was unconscious, the level and depth of connection in the moment, right? Because your body only lives in the moment, but are you connecting? And it was years and years and years of studying um, presence, mindfulness, spirituality, EFT tapping, mind-body medicine, heart math. Like I could name hundreds of things I did because I had to heal myself. I had to get off medications. Like that was not going to work for me. And then the deepest thing was, how can I be in a loving connection with myself that isn't about fear of failure, outrun the dragon, that isn't about I've got to improve myself and be a better person that was like a constant hamster wheel. All of those things were actually making me worse. I had understood and studied mind body medicine for years and years and years. But when I got sick, I hadn't the first clue about how to truly apply it. <laughs> 
flash forward over a decade, has it been 20 years now? I have shown thousands and thousands of people how to connect with the life force within them and allow it to flourish throughout their body to a higher degree. And it is that life force that allows a shift in your frequency, in your thoughts, in your emotions. You receive it. You do not create it, right? Ever try like affirmations? I am powerful. I'm making lots of money. It's all working out. But you're holding the frequency of the problem of the old consciousness. It won't work, but you could work really, really hard at it like I did. What if we practice letting go? What if we practice allowing that health to come into the cellular? What if we practice opening our energy system, opening our energy pathways, opening our energy centers? Most people don't even know they have energy meridians and energy centers, let alone how do I work with them? Um, opening to the deepest spaces of trauma, which is just resistance we hold in the body from an old interpretation of what happened. Um, you don't have to carry that anymore. You can literally release the trauma. And trauma isn't this thing that happened 20 years ago. It's something that's still living in you right now here in this moment. We can only work in this moment. And so you don't need to go and dig back into your past. Your body's going to show you right here, right now. So when we do this work and there are live calls in Embracing Health, we look what's here now, either in the words you're saying, in the tone of your voice, we can find it because it's here now. And the wisdom in you already knows exactly what's at the root that's creating those particular thoughts and those particular emotions and those particular cellular changes. Your body can heal itself. Your mind and body are connected and you are a powerful creator as within, so without. That means the way you think and the internal programming that is living through you, constantly sending signals and creating, can be shifted. And your cells, they are creating, right? So that cell is going to have... Um, Proteins, hormones, like it's going to excrete things. It's going to have an impact and an effect. And that's not only a physical thing. Your cells, your body is also electromagnetic. You are pure energy and you have an energy imprint. We can detect eight to 10 feet away from your physical body. It's a frequency. It's a vibration. And just like your thoughts have either a life-giving or a negative effect on your cells, your vibrational expression either has a life-giving signal to the universe, to the world around you, that brings to you all the things that nurture you, or the opposite, constantly sending out a signal, treat me bad, abuse me, don't give me the money I deserve, and constantly telling the universe how we should be treated. A lot of this has to do with your sense of worth. In fact, one of my favorite quotes, um, let me find this because I just wrote this down. It was in the book Worthy um, by Jamie Kern Lima. And she said, okay, in life, you don't soar to the level of your hopes and dreams. You stay stuck at the level of your self-worth. You don't rise to what you believe is possible. You fall to what you believe you are worthy of. This is so essential because your sense of self-worth is an innate, intrinsic, constant signal going out throughout your hormones, your neurotransmitters, your physiology, telling your cells how to behave. Your sense of self-worth is a constant electromagnetic vibrational transmission beaming out to the world and those around you with what you get to experience. And so what you receive is not based on your belief. That's where a lot of people go wrong with my money medicine. I'm going to change my beliefs. 
you're going to rise or fall to the level of your self-worth. And that's why I, as a physician, have dedicated my life and my career to assisting all of us in having a sense of our true worth. We are divine. We are loved unconditionally. We are provided for. Are you in an arrangement that lets you receive that unconditionally? Or are you in an arrangement that blocks it? Or that makes it conditional so you have to always prove yourself and work really hard and would I get the right circumstances? It's not the same thing. So in the work that I'm doing, you can start right now, right here in your body. Hi, body. You're worthy. Here we are. There's a really powerful tool we use in uh, em embracing health in the course when I'm working with people live called Ho'oponopono. And this is an ancient Hawaiian healing art based on that inner communication. Am I in an inner communication of unconditional self-love and self-worth? Or am I in something less than that? Because it is going to show up in my life, in my physical health, my mental, emotional well-being, or the circumstances I find myself in. And you have the power. You have the ability to shift this. Not by shifting your beliefs. Let me just change my thoughts. Takes a lot of work. By shifting your foundation of self-worth, which is an intrinsic. It's an inner game, but it affects everything on the outside. So I'm really, really excited to share this principle to bring more people to the awareness that we are creators and everything that's get, getting created cellularly, physiologically, and electromagnetically stems from this inner space of who we are being. Am I being that one who knows my value? Am I being the one who loves myself unconditionally and receives that life force through my body unconditionally? Or am I being some conditional shut down partial version of who I really am? And you know what? Everything that comes up in my life that's a challenge is just there to be an invitation to show me where I'm in closure, to show me known and unknown where I'm buying into those lies, known and unknown where I'm not valuing myself unconditionally. And so be in this game with life. You are invited to live a life so abundant, so meaningful and purposeful, so fulfilling. That's why you're here and is a contribution to everyone else. There is nothing selfish about honoring your own worth it is the greatest gift you can give to anyone, the people you love, the greater the world at large. And every time you take an action to invest in yourself, to be a good receiver of those things that really nurture you, you strengthen all of it. You strengthen your vibration. You shift and change the thoughts and the inner chemical signals that are changing what your cells are doing. You deserve to live fully and richly. And the fabric of the universe is here for you. Right? The energy, the pure energy that allows us to continue to live, the pure energy that is money, the pure energy that is love, the pure energy that is awesome opportunities coming into your life. You are that. And so you can choose to be that more and more fully now. That's my invitation to you this week. I invite you also to get on the waiting list for Embracing Health. It's at drkimd.com forward slash health. You can check out the page, feel into what that invitation is, because even just the verbiage on the page will allow a cellular change in you. It's speaking to something deep in you that knows you are worthy that knows what is possible and that is calling you to that greatness for yourself. So all the compassion in the world for what has been challenging, for hardships you have, for maybe you have had stage four cancer or a severe autoimmune disease or digestive disease or an infection that your body just hasn't been clearing. But I'm here to tell you there's way more possible than what you might have been told or what you might believe. And so this is the value of mind-body medicine. The people I've worked with in embracing health have come back to tell me it didn't just heal my disease. It revolutionized my life. I had no idea that this experience with what I thought was the worst thing that ever happened to me was actually the greatest gift because it showed me where I was not in my self-love, in my self-worth, in the unconditional opening to life. It showed me where I had all these rules for myself and all this oppression and 
it opened me not only to be vibrantly healthy, but to be creative and to rearrange my relationships. And some people maybe start a business or write a book or have children or just do what you're really here to do in the subtle and not so subtle ways. You get to be free and create your life. And whatever's coming up as the problem is actually here to show you some foundational thing that's ready to shift. So let's do this. This is what I'm doing over the next year in Embracing Health. Those who are on the waiting list will be invited to join me early, have an extra month with myself and the mentors to get a kickstart and come into a smaller group call where we will kick off the work and ignite your system right away. So if that resonates with you, be on the waiting list. I will be sending that invitation out very soon. Um, I'll also be sharing more on this this month. So stay tuned because this will be the year that begins something so powerful for the rest of your life. I love you guys. I'm at drkimd.com and you can tune in each Wednesday at 11 a.m. Mountain Time for Mind Body TV on my YouTube channel, Dr. Kim Doramo, or in the Mind Body community in Facebook. We would love to have you ask our questions of our mentors. Um, in the Mind Body community, you can email us at support at Dr. Kim D if you have further questions about this. Otherwise, I look forward to seeing you live next week for our next episode of Mind Body TV and really kicking off this massive evolution and awakening for humanity. So much love to you, and I'll see you soon. Thank you for tuning in to Mind Body TV. I would love to hear from you. Post a comment with any question, insight, aha, or just to say hello. Make sure you subscribe. Hit that subscribe button so you stay tuned for weekly episodes. I'll see you next week.